Hello family, just coming back to you with another Straight to the Chaser video. Okay, we're going to be talking about AtlantaBlackStar.com. They put out an article on Miss Tanya Sam and Mr. Paul Judge. You know, they're friends of the family of the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. But Chantel Rusher is getting ready to tell us the T, the T, the T. Okay. And I am here to spill it with her, narrate in my own perspective of how I viewed what she is saying. And then I turn it over to the family affair for them to make their comments down below in the comments section. Okay? But anyway, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. She is so cute to me. She looks like a little princess in her own little right. And to tell you the truth, I don't know why she would want to be somebody's fiancé uh over two years i mean i think they've been engaged for what 10 12 years i'm like are you trying to be like oprah and statement okay i know it was a time when statement didn't want to get married and she took it offensive and then when he wanted to get married she didn't want to get married and then they just pretty much dissolved the situation as is and said why do we have to have a piece of paper we don't need a piece of paper let's just live together I mean, is, is this what we're going to now? Everybody just tooting their nose up at marriage and don't want to hold no sanctity to it or anything of that nature? I don't know, child. I don't know. I mean, two years would be the max. One, that first year after I had got proposed to, I would just have to be like, okay, basking in my own love. But knowing me, honey, you, at my age, you engaged. You want to be engaged to me? Okay. I don't need a big wedding. I don't need a fanfare. We can just go on out to the courthouse, hook it up, have a big old party, okay? But it would be less than a year after I had gotten engaged, per se, that I would be getting married. But I know the youngins who just starting out, just got their career on track just found themselves they might need a couple of years they might want to plan for a big old fantastic beautiful wedding and then i don't know maybe they want to save for a house so it's going to take them two years one year to make sure they don't pay it off the wedding okay because parents usually don't get too much involved now it'd be um the people that are getting married going on and uh footing the whole bill they don't want to put that type of uh, financial burden on their parents and I you know I'm like I'm with it I wish my daughter do the same thing child but anyway we, we'll we see we'll see what she doing because with the coronavirus it don't slow down pretty much everything in her little book all right she ain't getting cold feet but it's just like mm. okay all right we got time <laughs> but I'm like okay you know that's another whole story for another whole day and another whole video but anyway I said that to say this uh I don't know if, Tanya, you need to be waiting your whole lifetime for this man unless it's something you and him have definitely decided that you would never marry. You'll just always be with each other. And that's cool. If that's what you want to do in, in your book, you go on. You love it. I like it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Okay, baby? But um, society, it seems like it's rushing you all to do the right thing. And when it comes to me, just for me doing past things with... Um, how you call it, just evaluating Mr. Judge, he falls in about, let me see how many categories, because this is just what I feel, my own personality about him, for holding out on making you his missus. He's either scared of commitment, meaning somebody done hurt him before, and he just don't want to get into that. Uh, he may have been married before, and he just don't want to rush back into a, a marriage again, or, or, or he's gay. You know, and he wants, well, I wouldn't say gay, I say he bisexual because he likes to flaunt you around and this, that, and the third. And then, you know, behind in between time, he might be actually getting down with the same sex. You talk, you know what I'm saying, man? The down low brothers can't stand them. Just be who you're going to be, just be upfront with it, okay? And let the woman decide, or, you know, vice versa. Uh, let the man decide if he, if you want to be on a lesbian half the time and then want to be with a man, you know, let folks know who's playing in this arena with y'all or he could be just want to be a player a pimp you know what i'm saying he don't see himself strapped down to one woman he see himself uh with one woman showcasing her i guess around but behind him closed door he might be freaky deacon in you know what i'm saying oh excuse me 
score will edit everybody doing in and everything just as long as it don't get back to the news and it'll upset his main squeeze and that's Tanya Sam's you know just like this little lady call herself the, the cook, cook lady and we see how that fared and Tanya seemed to have worn out on that situation as well so I don't know this brother look kind of shysty to me you know what I'm saying I don't know but if Tanya I said love him what, who am I not to like them, okay? I can make my opinions. I ain't got to live with them. I ain't got to break bread with them. It just is what it is. I just look at them when he's there with her flossing the TV screen, okay? Oh, this is allegedly my point of view. All right, now let's get into this article, this salacious article that they're covering those two today in social media. Okay, it goes like this. Tanya Sams and Paul Judd have been engaged for quite some time. The cast members from The Real Housewives of Atlanta have experienced their fair share of relationship drama throughout season 12 of their hit reality show. But their love connection appears to be stronger than ever. Real Housewives of Atlanta fans seem to love the couple and now they're insisting that the dynamic duo rush to the altar. Now I'm saying don't let your fans get in, get you in trouble now Tanya and, and well we ain't gonna mention Paul okay but we're gonna say Tanya don't don't you know, throw up that everybody want to see us get married, this, then, third, and I want to get married, this, then, third. You know what I'm saying? Don't throw that up in the man's face, okay? Because you can't push a man to marry you if he don't want to marry you. If he feel like he has to make excuses from getting y'all to that altar, then, you know, it just is what it is. You have to decide you're a beautiful, intelligent woman. You have to know how long you want to be strung along. Or then again, you may like that whole atmosphere and environment that y'all are in you know you can only put up with them for so long and then you need to have your space you need to have your space you know like i said i'm comparing it to oprah and stepman all right not that they have money or anything like that and she don't her and her fiance it's just that that's the only one i really know that have never gotten married been engaged forever in a day but never have gotten married and you know Especially if you want to get married, Tanya. I don't know why you you stick around with this young man, okay? But it is what it is. Your heart uh, loves who it loves. Going back to the article, it says Sam posted a photo to Instagram on Wednesday, April 8th, of her and her fiancé relaxing together. Judd. Judge laid against the green and white pillow while Sam rested her head against his chest. The Toronto NATO seemingly gave fans a snippet of their shelter-in-place life. The reality star went live on Instagram with her future husband on April 8th to answer fan questions about her and Judge's relationship. Um, and then we have um, somebody basically saying the couple looked as if they were madly in love with each other and fans urged the pair to officially get married okay one thing you could do you can let the whole world in your uh relationship can you and that's just my pun intended and then you can watch the whole world force you to get married by what they feel you should do and you can watch the whole world or the whole world can watch you get a divorce Okay, are they going to be with you then? <laughs> Why are they telling you to rush? Well, I wouldn't say rush, but to get married. Uh, if the formula is working for you and him. I don't know. I don't know what's telling you. I don't know. Because y'all acting like a married couple. You're looking like a married couple. But the only thing about it, there is no marriage between you all. And that's the particular picture that they're showing on her Instagram account of her laying on his shoulder. Okay. All right. Kind of like they could be sister and brother to tell you the truth. But that's what they say when you've been with a person for so long, you tend to start looking like them. Okay? Uh, and you, you all start finishing each other's sentences and therefore they're on. Okay? But moving back to the article. Um, a commenter said a third user asked, are you all married now? Y'all, it's too cute. A fourth excitedly wrote. <coughs> a fifth user said, you all need to get married ASAP. Uh, another wrote a writer wrote, uh, I love you guys' relationship, and I love the dedication to each other. Black love, hashtag relationship goals, a sixth, a sixth mention. A seventh user wrote, Kenya could never. Okay. And then it goes on to say, Sam's relationship blew up in her face after a woman named Shania, Shania White, claimed Judge was flirting with her. White owns a bakery in Atlanta and was referred to on the show as the cookie lady. 
Sam's co-star Kenya Moore invited the bakery owner out to lunch with Sam and the other cast members on The Real Housewives of Atlanta on February 9th. That particular episode had aired. Then it goes on to say Sam and White got into a heated exchange during the lunch and after the cookie lady mentioned that Judge was hitting on her, the successful tech businesswoman seemed unfazed by White's accusations and appeared to be more upset with more for blindsiding her at the brunch. Okay, and that's Kenya. Loyal fans come in to rescue her and say that she had no right to do that. Now, I'm like, hoo I went any on this past episode. Or uh, when it was at that, uh, I think it was the um, Marcia Dyson's um, engagement that Portia had set up or they had wanted Portia to represent them or be an ambassador for the March of Dimes uh, organization. And she had all the women uh, grouped up to come and um, pay homage to her, I guess, or come to her lunch and, and be a, uh, a part of the celebration of she's becoming an ambassador for a great and worthy cause, okay? Uh, but, yeah, Shia Nini has said, I would have took that opportunity and found that woman uh, who was supposed to have been texting Ma saying she didn't want things to be over in Kenya's voice or what she was telling um, Cynthia and Candy about Ma was cheating on her with somebody and the woman wouldn't let it go and she was telling Ma that it was disrespectful for her to continue for him to continue talking to this lady when they together and all this other stuff Kenya was trying to make up for us or for her to have a storyline but hun I don't know I, I probably been like Nene I, I would have found it or uh, just like she found a cookie lady on me, I would have found that lady. Uh, I would have searched high and low as hell. I would have told Robert to go look for her. <laughs> Please. I want that to be my storyline coming up. All right. Yes, honey, we would have played tit for tat for that. And I'm like, oh, okay, here she go. Here, here the one Mark was supposed to have been a seemingly, allegedly texting, fooling around with. Yeah, was this the woman's voice you were hearing on speakerphone, girl? Was this the woman you were talking to? Because she said she the woman that's, that's messing with Ma. Okay. And we would let them birds fly, honey. Them birds would have been chirping, chirping, chirping. And I would have just been sitting there with the bird seeds. Just letting them just go on and pick away at you, Kenya. Yes, Lord. Mm. But anyway, that's like I said. Tanya, you know, she's good now. I don't know if she's going to become uh, mentally corrupt if she continues to hang around the Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know if she will ever stoop too low to throw tomatoes in the street in my Mariah uh, Merit Medicine's voice with the peasants. I don't know if she's going to ever do that. It doesn't seem like she would because she ain't trying to become a real uh, full-time, full-fledged housewife owner to be on the show. She still represents and likes to be the friend of the show. That means she don't have to uh, take part of... Uh, producers telling her they have to see everything and anything in her personal life, her comings and goings. No, she can definitely say, uh, uh-uh, we can't film that, or no, I'm not going to show y'all that. So she can make those uh, distinctions of what she wants to be shown because she's not a full time. She's a friend of the show, and she says she likes that better. And I'm like, cool, I, I, I you love it, I like it, okay. But uh, she did make a statement that, um, she is a businesswoman, okay? She's in the tech business, and she's a full-fledged RN nurse. Woo! And then she on the Real Housewives of Atlanta getting a part-time check. So, she, to me, it's like she winning. She winning. She ain't really got to have a serious storyline. You know what I'm saying? She could flow in between. But she got one from that cookie later, so she can ride there for a while, okay? I'm just saying. But, fam, that's all I had of this particular story. I gave y'all my opinions and puns on the side. Well, say you, family, about this particular article, this particular subject matter. Get down in them comments. Tell me what y'all thought about it. Yeah, I thought it was kind of exciting. This is the first friend of the show that's really holding up like she a peach holder. <laughs> I'm like, yes, get her somebody else to get into it with. But then again, I like her just getting into it with uh, Kenya. Mm -hmm. That, that kind of throws off the uh, bandwagon of her always being into it with Nene. So, yes, I, I kind of like that that uh, play they're using uh, for her to go after Kenya or Kenya to come for her. Yes, honey. Yes, do it now. Do it. 
All right, but I said what I had to say. Y'all get in them comments. Tell me what y'all felt about subject matter. And I will see y'all next video. But before you click off, make sure you click that like button, that share button. And uh, subscribe to, your ch to the channel if you hadn't done so. Because I like you all over here. I like to have a big old wide family discussing things, saying things, just everything. You know what I'm saying? But I don't like the disrespect and I don't like it coming out of me. Okay, other than that, we cool as peaches. Yes, we are Georgia peaches if you want to say. But again, I will see y'all next video. Y'all take it easy and be good to each other.